Hi, everyone. Would you like to know what I've been up to? I have some things to share with you that I've had for quite a while. But now is the time. It's the time of year where we do our annual giving. So I'd like to share with you some things that I've received and will be giving away to help out some of those who are in need in my area. In addition to that, I'd like to share with you a new c to c square and a new square for Womb of America. I am looking forward to it, and I hope that you guys are too. So hold on for a moment. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Mindful Crafts and More. I'm Katrina. If this is your first time checking out my channel, welcome. Take a look at this video or any of my other videos, and if you find yourself inspired, join my channel. Those of you who are returning, Welcome back. I really appreciate you just hanging out with me for a bit. So, hi everyone. It's been a long year for me and I've been pressing forward. I've had quite a few who have just been so gracious to um, provide a lot of encouragement and support in so many different ways. And I am so very grateful for it. About a year ago, I received some packages and I was just not in a good place to be able to get those packages where they needed to go so that they could help out the people who are in need here. So as a result, some of my other friends here locally just kind of picked up the slack and they were able to go ahead and make sure that those who needed received what they needed. However, I received packages from some of you guys and I did not get a chance to share them as I had hoped. Well, that's okay. I'm going to be able to do that now and I'd like to share it with you. So I have two unboxings that I want to do. In addition to that, I'm going to go ahead and share a new C2C square and a new square for Warm of America. These are some things that I've been working on, and I'll tell you a little bit more about those in a little bit, okay? So let's grab the first package and open it up. Okay, guys, so I have the first package. You see, it is a very nice size, and this comes to me from a dear Yarny friend and a um, awesome a subscriber by the name of Sherry. Okay. So Sherry sent this to me about a year ago. I have not opened it yet. I am really eager to look and see what's inside and share it with you guys. So hold on. Let me grab some scissors and let's get this package opened. Okay, guys, I'm back. I got the package opened, and this is just full of just beautiful hats. So um, if you guys have followed me for a while, you will know that in previous years, I had mentioned that I was uh, making hats and warm wearables for the homeless. I happened to be on a live of my YT bestie, none other than Jeanette over at DOY Creations and DOY Life. And another awesome yarny friend by the name of Pamela over at Pamela's Crochet and Knit Corner said, why don't you ask other people to help? I think they would love to be able to help. And I took a chance and I did what she said. I put out a call to action and boy, it was overwhelming. And I'm just so grateful. Now, last year, I had a lot of changes um, in my family and I lost my husband. And um, as a result of him passing away, I just wasn't really in a good place to be able to continue to do all those things because I had a lot of other things that I needed to do. So I asked the uh, subscribers who had sent things to me if it was okay if I delayed and they said, sure. So now I am doing it. I'm so happy to be able to share this. And I hope that uh, you guys don't mind it's been delayed, but you know what? The need is still there. Um, it is, you know, heartbreaking to see that there are those who 
do not have a roof over their head to um, be able to keep them warm and safe during the winter and to keep them so that they can be okay. But you know what? We can do our part. And as crafters, sometimes we have lots and lots of yarn and we have that inspiration and this can help out. Okay. So this is Sherry um, sending over some things and I'm going to see what she got. Okay, so she does have an envelope here. So let's see, it's a card. Okay, so she has a card. Oh. Uh, okay, this is so beautiful. So I'm gonna paraphrase it, all right? So uh, she does say on the outside, it you're a blessing. And that is just awesome. So, you know, just giving just well wishes and things like that. And just saying thank you so much. And thank you for making these things and for sending them. I so appreciate it that I can be a blessing to others. So your blessing me is helping me to bless other people. All right. And you are so very, very welcome. Thank you. All right, so now let's take a look. Beautiful stuff in here, guys. Okay, so this, look at this. This is a beautiful, I love the colors, all right? And this one is actually uh, double-sided. So you can take it and if you wanna do all gray and white, you can, or if you wanna do the blue, you can, all right? So two color or three color, beautiful, all right? Here's another one. I love this one with the gold and black. And then having it a different um, sequence, just beautiful, right? Oh, wow. This one is really nice. Look at this. I love this with the um, striping pattern. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. And look at this one. Awesome. This is a fun looking hat. Love the colors. Okay. Here's another fun looking hat. Love that. Okay. All right. Here is a crocheted hat with the beautiful blue and green. I love it. And this is actually textured. So look at that. Beautiful, right? With the post stitches. Here is another beautiful hat. And this one looks like this is single crochet stitches. I love it. Here's another one for a little one. And this is a beautiful striped hat. Okay, and this looks like maybe double crochet stitches. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Here's another. And another. And look at that. Beautiful. I love these um, different yarns. Such a nice variety. And look at this one. Look how this one just kind of pulled the colors together. I love it. Here's another one. And another one. Beautiful stripes on both sides. And look, this is a variegated with the accent for the black. So you can do it all black with a pop of color or vice versa. That's just beautiful, right? I love it. Here's another. And another beautiful patterned one. 
And wow, look at this one. Nice and bright. Beautiful. Beautiful stripes. Wow, Sherry. Sherry was so busy. She did a great job with these. Oh, I love this one. Look how this one just kind of swirled. Awesome. And here we go with blues and whites. And this one, I'm not sure if you can see it, but this one has sparkles. Very nice. And these are nice and thick because they're um, doubled. So they will keep them nice and warm. Here we go. I love this. Beautiful burgundy. And very nice with the pop of color. I love the combinations that she chose. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Oh, look at this one. Awesome. I love it. This pairs so well together. Very nice. Or this one can go like this. And it looks like it's solid, but it's not because you got the pop of color underneath. So either way, you know, you can switch it up. Okay. Here we go. Another beautiful hat. And this one, same thing. Okay, beautiful. Here we go, nice and beautiful brights. More beautiful sparkles. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm trying to show them, but beautiful. And another sparkle. Wow, this is just awesome, Sherry. Thank you so much. So now this is a lot. She did quite a bit of work. Okay, so let me see how many it is and I will be right back. I am back. So that was 33 beanies, all different sizes. And that's just so wonderful. Now, I know sometimes we do think of adults being those that are in need and who may be homeless. But you know what? Um, we do volunteer to help serve meals at our local homeless shelter each year, at least once a year. And we try to do it more than that. And the thing that impressed upon me in doing that is seeing that there is no respect of person when it comes to, you know, um, maybe potentially being in need. There are all ages, all sizes, all shapes. It just, you know, it warms your heart to be able to help, but your heart gets extended when you see that there definitely is a need and the need is not just one size fits all. So to be able to receive these beautiful hats in different sizes, thank you so much, Sherry. I appreciate it. All right. So what do you guys think? If you like these um, things that she made, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Let her know what you thought of the beautiful work that she did and the beautiful blessing that this is going to be to others. All right. So now I'm going to move on to the next box that I have. And Hold on for a moment. I am back. So I have the second package right here. Now this is from another subscriber. Both of the subscribers that I am sharing with you today have donated previously to this very same effort. And I just want to say thank you so much to both of them. I really do appreciate it. All right. So let me go ahead and open it up and let's see what's inside. Okay. So there is an envelope. 
and there is a note. So let me open, let me take a look at it first, okay? Okay, awesome. Okay, so this uh, note here lets me know that uh, there is a specific way that they were made to kind of help out. And I'll get to that when I open it up. And this is a beautiful card. Okay, now this is coming from Tessa, all right? Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, so this is a very personal card and I received also some beautiful and very personal cards from Sherry, the um, young lady that I spoke of earlier who gave us the beautiful hats. So I just wanted to uh, mention that um, both of them are just very, very awesome uh, subscribers, just wonderful people inside and out. And although we've never met, we uh, have connected and just been able to bless other people with our talents and our skills and things like that. And I think that's beautiful. Okay. All right. So um, awesome. So let's take a look. I'm excited to see what's in here. All right. So here we go. This is a beautiful beanie, all right? Now this beanie has a pom-pom and the note that I read mentioned that the way the pom-poms are made, they are removable just in case the person uh, needs to remove them. So that's what the note was all about, okay? All right, so just beautiful crocheted. And here's another with beautiful bright colors, all right? With a beautiful pom-pom. And all you need to do is just kind of shake them to kind of refresh them. And then there you go. All right. Here's another beautiful. Both of them came up with some awesome colors for their beanies. I just, I love them all. Here we go with another. All right. And here we go. Awesome. I love the beautiful stitch patterns that they've, um, chosen because they have a lot of nice texture. Okay, so we can just kind of shake it out and there we go. And here we go. Yeah, I think you paired these up so well, Tessa. Awesome. Here we go. And this one is made with, so the ones that I just showed you a bit ago are uh, done with, um, I believe, worsted weight yarn. And this one feels like it's a little bit more of a bulky and they all come out great. All right. So just being able to work with the different uh, yarns and uh, colors and stitch patterns. Awesome. Okay. Beautiful. Look at that. Here we go. I love it. Awesome. Here we go. Nice. And here we go. All right, so these are beautiful also. I love each and every one of them. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 15, 16. So that is awesome. So that's 16 plus um, 33. So that's a wonderful, wonderful number. And again, I, you know, I feel bad about the delay, but you know what? These are definitely going to find a good home and they're all in different sizes, different colors um, from the smallest to the largest who may find themselves in need. And that is just such a blessing. So I want to say thank you so much to Tessa and thank you so much to Sherry for allowing me 
to bless others here in my area. All right. So it definitely is a blessing to be a blessing. And if you guys are able to do something for those who are in your area, and it doesn't mean that it has to be a hat or anything, just whatever's laid on your heart to do something. And I think that it will make their day, make their month, make their year. Okay. So just consider it. And yeah. All right. So that's all I have for this portion. Let's talk about, can you guess the C to C? So this is a little idea that I came up with and I ran it across my Yarny Busty Priscilla over at Distinctively Handcrafted. I just kind of mentioned to her about uh, different uh, ways to do corner to corner by changing the stitches up and said, do you think that anybody would be interested? And she said, sure. Well, you know what? Before I knew it, she had grabbed up her yarn, grabbed up her hooks, and she whipped up a few squares and sent them to me. And that's how we started this C to C. Can you guess it? All right. So um, we started out showing her beautiful crocheted squares. And then I went ahead and showed you some of the things that I had done and then started to explore a little bit more. You guys mentioned that you might want to see some more. So let's do it. All right. So now let me show you the last, can you guess the C to C? And this is it right here. All right. So this is the one that I showed you guys. And I didn't get a whole lot of takers on what you guys thought this square was. But for any of you guys that were wondering, if you look very, very closely, this is the Suzette stitch. All right. It's a Suzette stitch pattern. And it is made up of uh, double crochet and single crochet. And the beauty of this is both of the stitches are in the same stitch and then you skip a stitch. So it's basically a one row repeat once you get the setup row um, started. And this is done in a corner to corner fashion. All right. So now I really had a lot of fun making up this um, corner to corner. It was really interesting to kind of see how it worked up, how to do the increases, how to do the decreases and whatnot. And um, yeah, I think it makes a beautiful, you know, textured stitch and would make some beautiful blankets or a beautiful maybe sweater or something. Right. OK, Suzette stitch. Have you ever worked this stitch before? And if so, what did you make with it? Let me know in your comments. All right. Now, I wanted to share with you how this works up, not just as corner to corner on the bias, but what does it look like when you do it the regular um, vertical way? Well, I went ahead and did that as part of the next thing that I want to talk to you about, which is the... Um, Warm of America Squares. So this is um, being done in conjunction with my dear friend and yarny friend and yours, Gigi over at Gigi the Crochet Queen. So she is doing some squares for Warm of America. The squares are actually seven inches by nine inches. I shared with you a few of the ones that I had done before and actually worked up some using some stitch patterns that maybe some of you guys had um, done on some of your videos. And so this time, because I did my beautiful C to C, I wanted to see it also worked up because I think this would be nice for a Womb of America square. It does have a little bit of opening, but for the most part, it is a solid kind of stitch pattern. And it is something that I think could go into a blanket to help keep you warm because it's not so many lacy openings, but it gives beautiful texture. So I worked it up in C to C fashion. So here we have it. So now can you tell the difference between vertical and diagonal, right? So if you turn this diagonal, hopefully you can see the stitch pattern, right? Okay, so this is a Suzette stitch pattern and this is a Suzette stitch pattern, all right? And I love the way it worked up. It was not difficult to do at all. Like I said, it is a single row repeat. Um, and yeah, so I love it. What do you guys think?
All right. So now I have my next, can you guess the CDC? And I went ahead and used the same yarn. So this yarn here actually is um, Crafter Square. And I don't think that it's a color. It kind of looks like a pale yellow to me. You guys may see it as maybe being a little bit of an off-white or something like that. But it's actually like a really pale um, yellow. So I have a new Can You Guess the C to C? And I want you guys to look at it carefully and then put what stitch pattern you think this is done C to C. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Can you guess this C to C? I hope you can. This is the front and this is the back. Okay. This is the front again. Okay. Tell me what you think. Leave something in your comment below. What stitch pattern did I use to make that C to C square? I'm really enjoying it. I hope that you guys are too. I hope that this month is going well for you guys. We are about halfway through the month and the holiday season is coming up. So I know that there will be kind of uh, less time because there will be a lot of gatherings for families and things like that. But you know what? There are also times where some families are feeling a little lonely or sad, and we have to keep that in mind as well. So I want to say blessings to each and every one of you and sending prayers out to everyone, okay? Hoping that it will do something to lift your spirits and help you to feel maybe a little bit better. All right. So that's all I have for this portion. I would like to next go ahead and give you guys the puzzle solution for the last video and that included a puzzle. And this is what I came up with. And here's the new puzzle for today. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos, for giving me a thumbs up, for leaving me very kind comments. Thank you guys so much for your well wishes and your prayers. I greatly appreciate it. I also want to say thank you so much again to Tessa and to Sherry for your beautiful contribution, for your awesome workmanship, so that I can help to bless some of the people here who are in need. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And um, you guys are awesome. All right. You guys are just so awesome. The support is great. Um, and I don't know. I don't know what I could do any other way. So to each and every one of you, do everything you can to be mindful. Do everything you can to be at your best health. And by all means, guys, continue to be crafty every day. Share your gifts. Be inspiring and be inspired. I look forward to seeing you again soon in one of my next videos or one of yours. Take care now. Bye-bye.